Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to FACIPA and Consultants. As always, here we are with our CPA, Fulton Abraham Sanchez. Hello, Fulton. Welcome back. Hi, Monica. Thank you. You're welcome. For the new ones, this is a video series called Tax Talk, where we talk about the different tax strategies that you must follow according to your situation. How do we select the topic? We received your question through our social networks, which you can find in the description of this video. Today's topic is offshore real estate investment taxes. Due to the number of received questions, we have divided this video into two parts. Fulton, are we ready? Yes, we are. Perfect. So the first question we received is, how are offshore real estate investment taxed? Real estate investment tax Real estate investment in foreign countries are taxed like, in, like real estate investment in the U.S. There's no, no real difference. Uh, under the, the, the thesis or the requirement that all foreigner, all income, uh, worldwide income earned by a U.S. citizen is taxable in the U.S. Whenever a U.S. expat or U.S. citizen purchase a property outside of the U.S., that income minus the expenses will be taxable in the United States like any other property uh, that is uh, located in the US. Okay, thank you. Um, do foreign investors pay tax on rental income? Foreign investors, yes. Uh, every time foreign investors buy property in the USA, they are required to pay taxes on the profits of the rental activity. They must. Okay, I see. And then the next question, are real estate taxes on foreign property deductible? No, they are not deductible on foreign property. That was the, after the tax reform of, of 2018, uh, foreign taxes for foreign property, property located outside of the US uh, is not deductible. Not at all, no way. So, and the next one, do you have to pay taxes on foreign real estate investments? Uh, yes. Whenever you purchase the property and the property is making, is making income, is producing income, that income deducted the expenses that you have for the property repairs, maintenance. Uh, is, uh, the profit of that activity is taxable in the United States. It might also be taxable, or it will be taxable depending on the tax structure of the, of, the, of the foreign country. It might be taxable in the foreign country as well. Understood. And um, how can you avoid double real estate income taxation? There is, no, there is no way to avoid it unless there is a tax treaty signed uh, with the foreign country. If the U.S. has signed up a tax treaty with the foreign country, then there is no double taxation. Income that is taxed in the foreign country is taxable in the foreign country, and it will, it will, and the, the tax credit, the, the taxes that you pay in the foreign country will be, will be taken as a tax credit here in the U.S. That will decrease the double taxation. But if there is no treaty, but if there is no, is, um, an, an official, and a legal an agreement between the two, the two parties, the two countries, then the last option will be to take um, the taxes that have been assessed or have been paid or have been charged in the foreign country to use that as a deduction in the, 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 in the um, uh, declaration of, tax, of your taxes for the current year. So in that case, you will take the taxes that you pay as an expense when you file your tax return for that property, like will be any other property in the US. Understood, thank you. Uh, is interest from a foreign bank account taxable? Yes, they are taxable like any other interest that you have or you receive in the, in the USA, that uh, interest that you receive in your account is also taxable in the US. Mm -hmm. And we have the last question of this part. Do I need to report foreign rental income? Yes. 
there is this thesis, uh, it's very controversial, that every, every single US citizen and US resident is subject to. Whenever you make money and wherever you make money is taxable. If during the year you have rental income, as we have been talking about property and real estate, if you have rental income, if you have interest income, if you have a dividend you see from, in a foreign, from a foreign company, if you have a rental income from foreign property, if you have interest from a foreign bank account, if you have royalties from a foreign asset that, that has been put in use and it's paying you royalties in a foreign country, anything that is income outside of the US, it is treated like income within the USA. Therefore, the income that you make outside of the US is also taxable in the United States under the principle, as I said before, of worldwide income. Worldwide earned income is taxable. So income outside, uh, earned outside of the US is the same as taxable as the one that you made here in the USA. To decrease, let's say, to, to uh, try to compensate for the double taxation, the USA has signed agreements, tax treaties, with other countries. Uh, those tax treaties define when income received in the foreign country and paying taxes in the foreign country is not, ta is not taxable in the USA. The, 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 the US has signed, has signed countries, has signed tax treaties with many countries, but not with, the, with, not with all the countries in, in the world. So before thinking in uh, investing in a certain country, it would be a good idea to consult to a good tax professional or tax attorney versed in the tax treaties to, to do a planning, a tax planning in advance before uh, designing the allocation of the, uh, the particular capital for investment or for buying properties or for buying a company and then receiving dividends. Uh, because all of these, all of these forms of income, whenever you make them, and you receive either you receive the income in case, for example, of uh, a company with make a company that makes money in a foreign country will pay you dividends. Sometimes the company will 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 take will stay with the dividends and will not distribute them. Even if you even if you receive the distribution or not, uh, after 2018, that is income. And that's controversial because if you don't receive the money, how is it going to be income? For the, for the IRS, that is not a consideration. If the company made money and you have a participation larger than the 10%, it will be taxable and you are obligated to declare the, the, the income, even though you have not received the income. You are, you are, you are obligated to, or you are required and obligated to take the, the, your share of income from the company and reported in your income tax return. I, again, either received or not received and pay taxes on that. If the country has a, a, tax, a tax treaty with the other country, the foreign country, then you will find some benefits in terms of double taxation, even though you have to declare it, but maybe for those countries that there are no tax treaties, the, the option, the ultimate option will be to, to treat the tax payment, the tax paid in the foreign country as a deduction of expenses. And that will reduce the profit here in the United States uh, when you report that foreign, foreign activity in the United States, that will, will decrease the, 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 the profits of the company and will pay less taxes. That's a, the, the ultimate option available for, the, for those countries that the US doesn't have any kind of tax treaty. But this is all controversial. It is very confusing. There are so many. There are so many different definitions of one a tax. One a company tax. One a um, one a company tax as a lower tax rate. One a company. When a company tax as a full rate, depending overall of the tax tax structure of your country. Just to give an example, for countries uh, that are not that do not tax uh, activities in their jurisdictions, like offshore countries. The, the obligation for the foreign city, for the US citizen, for those foreign dividends, for those foreign profits that you're supposed to receive is taxable, uh, is taxable in the US. All the profits will be included in your tax return and pay the full taxes 
in the US because in the foreign country, there are no taxes paid. So it's even more serious when the country, uh, the country where the company is located has a legislation of zero tax. In the US, you have to pay the, the, the rate that is equivalent to that amount in the in 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 the totality meaning that there is no there is no credit because you don't have any tax so this is very controversial and you have to be very aware of how and and how and where you allocate your your capital whenever you are planning for an investment uh, in a particular jurisdiction yes i see i see thank you very much Fulton. Uh, well, and uh, thank you everybody for joining us. Remember to follow us on our social networks, like in Facebook, where we have an exclusive group. For example, we also talk about this kind of really difficult and complicated situations inside this group. You have the, you have the link of it in the description of this video. So go there and click on it. And of course, you are more than welcome to subscribe to our channel. So you, are, you can be notified when we publish a new video, especially the second part of this video. Thank you again. Thank you, Fulton, and see you everybody in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.